Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my winter 2020 FabFitFun box. FabFitFun is definitely one of my favorite subscriptions, so I'm really excited to see what came in this box. So really quickly, before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, I am doing a huge giveaway right now. I'll have it linked in my description box below if you guys wanna enter that. And then also, please make sure you have your notifications turned on, that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button, and then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the box. I don't think the actual box is as cute as like some of the other ones. Like I felt like the like spring and summer boxes were so cute. I mean, this one is cute, but I don't know. I just feel like they've had cuter boxes before, but that doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in here. All right, so the first thing that I just pulled out is one of the products that I picked out and these are slipper socks, which I wear these all the time. And when I saw these, I just had to get them. So these are just just gray slipper socks. Honestly, these are so adorable. They're like little cable knit socks. They have the little like pom pom things on them. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and put one on. The inside of these are so soft. Okay, I can't get them apart, so I'm just gonna put one on. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna show you guys this, but I will say that it does feel very nice. I like that it has like the little grip things on the bottom so that you don't slip. So yeah, I am so excited about these. I cannot wait to start wearing these. I literally wear these kind of slipper socks all the time around the house. So this box already is starting off amazing. I was so excited when I saw this was one of the choices. So the next thing I got is this little package of scrunchies. I forgot to mention the price of the socks. So these were the Muck Lux, I believe is how you say it, cabin socks. And the price of these is $25 and it has faux Sherpa lining on the inside. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that before we move on. All right, so I got this little set of scrunchies and I'm actually really excited about these because I use scrunchies all the time and these are adorable like little animal print scrunchies. So here is what they look like up close. There are just three different ones. So these are, I believe you say at the Noor, I'm not sure how to say the brand, Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies. And the price of these is also $25. I will definitely be using these, so I'm actually excited that these came in my boxes were not something that I picked out. They just came in here, but I am like pleasantly surprised that I got these. Okay, why am I like so excited about the next thing? <laughs> so I got this kind bar and of course I got excited about getting food in my box. This is the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. This is a kind thin bar. So I don't see this like in the little magazine thing with all of the products that came in the winter box. So I'm wondering if this is just like a little like extra thing in there. So maybe this isn't actually part of the box, but I'm excited about it. So the next thing I got is this little bubble wrap thing. So this is a blush from the brand Phase Zero and the price of this is $27.50. So here is what the shade looks like. I'm not going to swatch it honestly because I'm not a big fan of the shade so I'll probably put this like in a giveaway for you guys. This is the Phase Zero Making Moves Blush. It says that it is a silky smooth formula that blends seamlessly onto the skin for a gorgeous flush of color. I do think that getting a blush is exciting but I don't know I'm just not really into the shade. It is a little bit it's not like shimmery but there is definitely like a sheen to it. It is a pretty shade, but I just don't think that I'll be wearing this or reaching it for it very often. So I don't really want to like keep that in my collection, but that is a nice thing to get. I've never heard of this brand. I don't think maybe I have gotten something from them in like another subscription box, but it's not like a brand that I'm familiar with. So next up, I have this product right here. This is from the brand Wish, I believe. This is the Wish Lip Scrub in the scent Vanilla Bean. So it says it's organic brown sugar and organic shea butter that work together to exfoliate and soften your lips. And the price of this is $20. Let's see what this smells like. This smells so good. I actually am excited about this. I love a good lip scrub and I'm really into like vanilla and scents like that. So I'll definitely be using that. So I'm actually excited about this one. It says it moisturizes with shea butter, raspberry butter, and aloe. Also has vitamin C extract, avocado oil. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. So the next thing I got is an eyeshadow palette, and this is from the brand Laura Geller. This is the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Eyeshadow Palette, and the price of this is $45. Here is what the actual palette looks like. And then here are all of the shades. It says achieve warm daytime and smoky nighttime looks with 12 crease-proof shades. There are a lot of shimmers in here. I wish it did have more mattes because I normally use more mattes than shimmery shades. This is a really pretty palette and I can definitely see myself using this. It has a lot of really good shades for every day. I do like Laura Geller. I don't know that I've actually tried their eyeshadows, but I am excited to try this out. I'll probably keep it. I might put it in a giveaway, but I actually am tempted to keep this and use it for every day just because like this row right here has such pretty shades for in the crease. So the next thing in my box 
box is something that I picked out and it is this mirror from Impressions Vanity. I saw this was one of the choices and I just had to get it. This is their Touch Highlight LED Makeup Mirror. So it says that this mirror features a bright white LED light strip at the touch of a sensor button to help you perfect your makeup and the price of this is $45. I really want to open this up. I have a makeup mirror in front of me that I got on Amazon. It is a good mirror but I feel like it just doesn't like stay upright so I'm actually excited to have a new mirror. I can't decide if I want to put this in my bathroom or keep it in here. So we have the batteries, the base. Wow, this actually feels like very heavy and sturdy. It's definitely nice plastic. All right, so here we have the mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and like put this together. All right, I put the batteries in. Let's test it. Ooh, that's pretty bright. Wow, I actually really like this mirror a lot. So I'm really excited about this. This was a really good thing to get in the box. Like I feel like there was a lot of really good choices this time. Okay, so I was just sitting here messing with the mirror and I'm noticing the same thing that happens with my mirror is that it doesn't like stay upright. And this one, like if I try and like put it at a good angle, it just like falls down. So now I'm like kind of sad about it. Like how are you supposed to, like even if it's on a flat surface, like. How are you supposed to look at yourself if it just like falls down? Like if I angle it like super far up, it stays. But if you try and go like closer to straight, it just falls down. So that's kind of irritating. I wish there was like a, like something on the back to tighten it so that it didn't fall. But I don't know how I'm gonna use this when it literally like doesn't stay in place where I need it to. So that's frustrating. Now I'm kind of like sad about the mirror. So the next thing is also something else that I picked out and it is the Unhide Blanket. I did get one of these, I believe in my first ever winter box and it was like a cream or like tan blanket and I loved it so much. I literally used it every day that I had to get another one and when I saw that this one was gray, yeah, I definitely knew that this was gonna be my choice. First of all, my entire house is gray, so I had to get this in the gray version. These blankets are so soft, like the quality is so good. So this is the Unhide Lil Marshmallow Blanket, and the price of this is $65. It says, stay cozy all winter long with this soft faux chinchilla blanket. This really is like one of the softest blankets that I've ever had, and I cannot wait to use the gray one as well. I have washed my cream one several times, and it's still just as soft. So yeah, I cannot wait to open open this up. My husband saw that I got this and he was like, why do we need any more blankets around the house? But I just had to have it. So the last thing that came in my box is another product that I picked out in. I don't remember there being that many good choices in this category, but I did pick these out. And basically this is just like a set of cutting boards, which is not like super exciting, but they are useful. I feel like we always are in need of cutting boards. So I did pick this, but honestly, I wasn't like too excited about this like choice. I guess, like the selection from this category. So these are a set of four cutting boards and the price of this is $19.95. It says each cutting board features a non-slip backing grip so you can cut your veggies, fruits, and more with ease. So these are just like those super thin cutting boards. I actually really like cutting boards like this and they have a nice like grip on the back so it doesn't slip like it said and then you get two green a yellow and a red and these are a pretty good size as well so that is everything that came in my winter fab fit fun box honestly i'm like really impressed with this box it's definitely one of my favorites i feel like my first ever box was the winter box i believe and that was also one of my favorite boxes i feel like there was only one fab fit fun box ever that like i didn't like and i believe that was the spring one but every other one has been amazing so i would definitely recommend it this is a quarterly subscription box so they do it like in the winter, the fall, the summer, and the spring. And they always have really good things. But yeah, I will have FabFitFun linked in my description box below if you guys want to check it out. So I would definitely say that my favorite things from the winter box are the blanket. I love the blanket. Cannot wait to use it. And then the slipper socks. And then I was also really excited about the makeup mirror. But now I'm kind of like sad because it doesn't really stay up. But it still is a nice thing to get in the box. If you guys get FabFitFun and you got this mirror... Please let me know in the comments below if yours stays up or not because mine just like does not stay up at all. And then I'm also like really excited about the animal print scrunchies. I thought that these were so cute and they are like pretty soft. I feel like they will be good to like sleep in or just put my hair up when I'm doing my makeup. So I am really excited to use these. And then everything else in the box was good. I feel like there's nothing in the box that like I don't like. So overall, it is one of my favorite boxes that I've gotten. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, make sure you guys go and check out that giveaway that I mentioned at the beginning of today's video. You definitely don't wanna miss out on that. And then also, please make sure to turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.